Hello everybody, it's Torrin here from Wibby Gaming and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up groups and add users to permissions. Now before you say, yes permissions has been discontinued but a lot of people still use it as their server permissions file obviously. Uh, we get a lot of messages asking how to add groups, how to add names, how to add colours to names, how to make them admin owner etc. Um, I'm just going to be covering this because we get a lot of requests and everyone still uses this plugin. Uh, there are other alternatives which we will be making a video on later. But first come to the permissions uh, thread. I will be linking this in the description so don't worry about that. And you can download the main jar but I've just downloaded the full zip because it's easier. So once you've downloaded that, uh, let's go to your server which mine is down here. Okay and it's open up your permissions, permissions folder. If you downloaded the entire zip, you'll get something like this. Uh, that won't say Galippo, that will say rename me. I just renamed that just for the sake of it. Okay, so let's get this permissions uh, jar and let's copy it across into our plugins folder. There we go. Right, so once you've copied over the jar into your plugins folder uh, and start the server up, of course, you should get a permissions folder. Now, when you start yours up, you will have something that has uh, weld, and well, mine says Glip obviously because that's the name of the server I play on. Uh, it should say weld, and it should have uh, global groups and global users. Now, global groups and global users is a permissions for any weld on the server if you're using multiverse, like the Never, etc. And the one that's at the top for you, which would say weld, is just for the specific weld that you're playing in. If you get that. Now. When you first load these up, they'll have nothing in them until someone joins the server. Uh, so what I've done is I've copied over the one from the zip folder, which I showed you earlier, and these already have some examples within them. Now this kind of tells you what to do, but it's not really that clear at all. So what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to do it. So one thing you should know is the YML uh, markup language is extremely fussy about tabs and spaces so whenever you can never use tabs because that will screw the entire thing up and always try and keep your um, your groups in line in a nice column uh, like they are down here that will help a lot okay, let me just zoom out a bit right so let me just explain what kind of groups we have here uh, first we have default now I'm presuming that anyone who's new to the server will join this default group here now where it says build false, that means when they join, they won't be able to build at all, okay? Until they get upgraded to the next group. They've got no inheritance because there's no group above them, okay? And prefix and suffix, there's nothing there, so they're just going to come up as just going to come up as their name, okay? So the next group we have here is the member, and where it says default, that is the default group people will join, as I should have said earlier. So if you put default true, that's the default group, any new member will be able to join. I suggest not doing this because you want new members not to be able to build until you know they've been on a whitelist, etc. Okay. Now again, what's going on here, they haven't got a prefix or a suffix, but they can build. Okay. And their inheritance is coming from the default group. Alright. And now here we've got some permission nodes. Now, warp plugin dot warp. So that's obviously guessing uh, within a warp plugin they're allowed to warp. So let's just uh, I'll put my own in. Actually, no, I'll do that later. But yeah, these are the permission nodes. So with this permission node, they'll be able to use the command warp, and with this economy plugin, they'll be able to use the command basic or something related to that. Okay. Right. So here we have a moderate moderator moderator group. Uh, this again, this is not the default group. They've got no prefixes, they can build, they've got an inheritance from the member. Now what you should note is if they're in like the moderator's inheriting stuff from the player, whenever they inherit something, that means they get all the permission nodes. So you don't have to enter them again. So say I put this one as let's say essentials spell that wrong. Dot give. Okay, that allows people to give themselves items. And the moderator would automatically be allowed access to that command because they're inheriting it from the group before them. Okay. Uh, and here they've obviously got the permission nodes to ban, kick, and unban people. Now, this is what, what a lot of people want to know. Here is the admin group. Again, default joining group is false. They've got no prefixes or suffixes. Uh, they can build 
and they've got no inheritance because they've got the star underneath the permissions. Now, star means allow access to any command on the server, okay? So if you have a really trusted member and you want to make him co-admin, you can put the little star in his permission nodes, okay? So how do we create a new group? Well, I'm just going to copy and paste the admins group. So copy over it, press enter again, obviously, and uh, copy it in. Now, as you can see here, let's get rid of these spaces. Um, this bit, well, the admins text is not in line with the one above it. So what you're going to need to do is just put it in line so the YML files don't screw up. Ooh. Yep, there you go, that's in line. And we're going to call the group, let's call it VIP for people who donate. Okay. So again, this is going to be called the default group. Well, not, this, isn't, this isn't going to be the default group because you don't want people joining the VIP as a VIP as soon as they join. Uh, you can put info there, but there's no real point. Uh, for the prefix, um, now, as I said with iChat and HeroChat, um, they have special codes which allow you to change people's text color. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head uh, what they are. I'll probably put them on the screen now, just so you know. There's something like uh, the and sign 7, that will change it to a color. So let's just say we'll put and B, because I think that's blue. And I'm going to put donator. Okay. So the suffix you don't really need to worry about. I mean, it's pretty pointless what it does, so don't worry. Uh, the prefix is the thing that comes in front of your name. So again, if you're the admin and you want to be owner, just type owner. But because it's a VIP, we're going to put donator. Now, for inheritance, what we're going to want to put is most probably... Uh, let's say... Uh, probably going to put member. Let's copy it from up there so we don't make any mistakes. There you go. So that's not going to throw up any errors. And the permission nodes. Uh, let's just give them essentials.give again. Uh, what we're going to want to do is in line. If you're going to add more, you're going to want to do that. Uh, let's put essential. That's offline. So essentials.ban and so on and so on. Okay. Now, you've created the group, so how are we going to put people in them? That's a good question. So once you've done this, control S to save. Okay. And you're going to want to go to the user group. Now again, this has some explanation in it, but again, it's not really the best. So here we've got a few people. We've got a fake username where they're in the group admins with permissions, but these permissions here, they don't need to be edited. I don't even know why they put them in here. But um, And again, it's got the prefix there, which doesn't actually need putting there because it's got it in the other group. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to create a new group. We're going to call it... Well, going to create a new user so let's say x torrent and we do that make sure we align the groups and we're going to want to put the group in as donator well I put VIP but obviously the name is donator okay and when you load the server up that should have me logging in as a donator so just to clarify we're going to go into our groups file and just go over what we've done um, remember not to use tabs when you're editing this. I know in Notepad++ you can counter that with uh, space uh, tab equals space or something. I can't remember exactly because I don't use it. Um, we're going to have a load of groups here. And again, just to create one, I advise just copying and pasting from the one above it and just indenting the name because that's the only thing that changes and make sure it lines up to the one above it like it does here. And that way it won't spring you any errors at all. Okay. Uh, Default is the default group the person will get put into if they're new to the server. Prefix can be done. Well, the color won't be there if you don't have iChat or Hero Chat, but the name, like the donator, will be there, just not the color. You'll need a plugin like Hero Chat or iChat or any other chat plugin which will give you access to the colors. Uh, build, true, that's if they can build or not. The inheritance, uh, like any commands you or permission nodes you put under the member. Uh, anyone who inherits the member will have all of those permission nodes as well, so you don't have to enter them specifically. Uh, the permissions here, uh, essentials.give, will allow people to you know, spawn themselves items. You can find permission nodes for every plugin, guaranteed on their wiki or on the plugin thread, they will state it. And again, there's just essentials.ban. Okay? 
So once you create the group, again, you're going to go into the users, and here you've got a really bad explanation of how things are done. But again, to create one, just copy and paste this one here. Well, you don't actually need any of these at all, but just to be safe, you might as well keep them there to uh, you know copy and paste for the next one. Uh, just copy and paste the one you've got ahead of you, and again, just align this one that screws up. And you put the name of the user here, so let's say we'll put Samkyo, and we'll put a group in as default. And it really is that simple. So I'll just show you the server starting up. We'll save it. And when you start the server up, if you have any, if you use tabs, for example, you'll have an error coming up in the command prompt. So I shouldn't really get an error here. There you go. P permissions was initialized. That means it's working perfectly fine. And whenever a player logs in, you can add them to the user data. And I know permissions do have some commands, but they're pretty complex and pretty hard to understand. You can do it by the command prompt as well. I just stay away from that. I just add them via the, uh, the user.data text. It's just so much easier. So I hope this video has helped you. It took me a bit of time to get it together and to prepare everything. So thank you guys for watching and remember to like and subscribe. So see you guys later. All right, cheers.